Hey and welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll have a look at the automatic UVs by Hard Edges tool from Maya, which you can pick up from Gabriel's ArtStation store linked in the description. It's another nice tool of his and a great tool to add to your tool set. I won't be covering how to install the tool, it's easy and explained well in the notes when you download. This tool is great because it can automatically map, unwrap and lay out the UVs of your polygon mesh. The UV seams will be generated from either your object's hard edges, any creases, or a custom surface angle that you define within the tool. Firstly, let's talk about cutting along hard edges. Here we have an object, it's looking weird at the moment since everything is soft. So let's make some selections on our edges, just where we want to make them hard. I have a video which goes into the harden and soften edge tools further, if you want to learn more about those. But with our edges selected, hold shift and the right mouse button and head across to harden edges. This will adjust the normals at these edges to give a hard appearance, but it will also tell this tool which edges we want to cut along. Cool, so this is looking how we would expect. I have the tool up here in my shelf and I'm using the nice icon provided with the download. Let's launch the tool and so we can see what's happening, I'll also open up the UV editor. Selecting our mesh, let's just go ahead and hit apply. And you can see the tool has nicely put seams automatically on our mesh and also laid out the shells. And this is all based on where we put those hard edges. There's also this checkbox for fixed non-manifold geo, which will clean up objects if they have non-manifold topology whilst creating the UVs. Otherwise, objects with non-manifold topology will be skipped. Setting the tool to creases works in a very similar way to hard edges. The tool will place seams across all the creases, as I'm sure you guessed. I do have a video about the crease tool, which you can check out if you feel like it. So let's skip that option and hop to the angle method. What this does is it places seams along all edges with a surface angle that is equal or higher than whatever value we put into this slider. Let's just leave it at default, which is 30 and hit apply. And without much thought or effort, we now have seams on most of the correct edges and you can see it's laid out the UVs well with good texel density. And of course, we could further adjust and refine our angle, but for this video, I won't be doing that. Maya's unwrap tools are okay, but I like this tool as it has some nice features if you just want to get the UVs done and want a good base to start creating your own. Plus, this tool is free, so why not go check out Gabriel's tool, and whilst you're there, also check out what else he has to offer. Again, if you have any tools you'd like me to download and try, leave a comment and I'll see if I can make a video on that. Be sure to join the Discord server to chat with a great community of fellow modelers, and check out my Patreon for access to the members only chat and a whole bunch of assets and tools. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons, come chat with me on the Discord, and I'll see you in the next video.